And now guys for the next achievement it is called diamonds. So if I enable it and then I get this and I mine it. As you can see we have made the advancements diamonds. Hey guys Justin101 here and welcome back to another video. In this video we are once again in our tutorial world because we are looking at tutorial number 22. Custom advancements or achievements. So yeah, basically I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own custom advancements or achievements in today's video. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first of all guys, I'm just going to showcase every single achievement I've made here individually and then we'll get right into showing you how to make it. So let's get right into the video. So, for the first achievement, it's getting wood. And basically it detects wood in the inventory. So if I enable it and then I summon a piece of wood, as you can see, when I break the piece of wood and then collect it, it says Jesse 101 has made the achievement getting wood. Also, if I try breaking it again, I won't get the achievement again. However, if I click this button to reset tags, and then I try again, I'll get the achievement. So yeah. So basically, there's a lot of commands here, but it's really not complicated. I'll explain it at the very end, right here, how this one works. But basically, you can use it to reset tags so you can complete all the advancements again once you've completed it, if you want to do that. Uh, I'll just get the advancement again to show you that it does work, but yeah. And now guys, for the next achievement, it is called Diamonds. So if I enable it, and then I get this, and I mine it. As you can see, we have made the advancements Diamonds. And once again, I'll show you that I can reset it. This spawn it in, and yeah, boom, it still works. And if I try getting it when I haven't reset the tags, it doesn't show it again. So yeah, it works perfectly well, guys. It also works well multiplayer because it's ba because it targets a singular player or the closest player, so you don't need to worry about things getting messed up. And then for this advancement, it's called Withering Heights. So if we spawn in the Wither, we'll get the achievement. Oh no, I need to turn that on as well. And yeah, has made the advancement with the ring heights. And if we want to get it again, we can always do that. Boom. I'm going to... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Can you kill it with it? Okay, good. I turned off mob griefing, so... It wouldn't be an issue. I thought ahead. Uh, I'm getting close to death. But yeah, as you can see, that advancement also works, and yeah. Wait, am I going to die? Of course. <laughs> okay, um, I'll just get into showing you the rest of the advancements real quick now. God. Okay. So this next advancement is, is Monster Hunter, and basically we're detecting the Rotten Flesh Entity. So this one isn't perfect, but basically if... We kill a zombie, for example, and it drops rotten flesh, then we'll get the monster hunter advancement. We forgot to enable it. <laughs> there we go, let's try again. There we go. So we made the advancement monster hunter. Why did it go into two different... Oh, I broke the thing. There we go. I broke the piece out of the item frame. And yeah, you can reset it and all, but I think you guys get the point, so I'm not going to reset it again. But yeah, so the next one is a terrible fortress. And basically, for this one, we're detecting blazes in the fortress. So if you didn't know already, blazes only spawn in nether fortresses, so it's a perfect mob to use to detect if there is a nether fortress. And yeah, some of you guys might be thinking that we can use nether bricks to detect a fortress, but nether bricks are actually craftable using like nether brick ingots or something. And yeah, so we're just using blazes. But as you can see, when we spawn in this blaze, we should get the achievement. There we go. I knocked it out again, okay. And then finally, this one, this achievement is called Slimy. It's a secret achievement that I made up, and it detects if a player is standing on the slime. So this one is actually a fake achievement, but I made this one just to show you can detect 
achievements by standing on things and then you can also make achievements different colors if you want to or advancements i don't really know what to call it but it's either or whatever you want to call it but as you can see if we enable it and then if we stand on the slime it says that we've made the advancement slimy so yeah so now guys i'm going to show you every single one of the commands so you can learn how to make custom advancements or achievements yourself let's get straight into it okay guys so first things first the getting wood and diamonds commands are very similar since we're both detecting items being dropped and then picked up into somebody's inventory then they essentially have the exact same commands apart from the actual item and the tags that have been given out so for every single one of these achievements guys there are three different tags that, that needs to be given out and I'll be explaining why. Okay, let's get right into it. So for the getting wood achievement, you need to have a command block, which is on repeat, unconditional, needs redstone or always active. If it's needs redstone, you need a lever to activate it. I have all of these command blocks in my world on needs redstone, the, re the repeating command blocks, just so I can turn them on and off to reduce the lag in this world, because I don't want a lot of repeating command blocks running at once in this world or then it would be really laggy like yeah so basically the command for this is to execute as at e type equals item name equals oak log so as you can see if i search up log in my inventory this is called oak log you need to write exactly how it is written in words and paste it there so if we wanted to detect birch log we would write it like birch log within quotation marks so as you can see, it's within quotation that marks the name and there's a space, so yeah. Also guys, if you're in a different language, like if you're playing in Chinese or something, it would say oak log in Chinese and you'd have to put oak log in whatever your language is between the quotation marks, so yeah. And then after that, you need to do tilde tilde tilde, execute as at a range equals to tilde tilde tilde, tag at s add gw. So basically, the oak log item is detecting if there's a player within a range of 2, and if, they, and if there is, it will tag that player with GW, which stands for getting wood. So for example, if there is a player within 2 pieces of this oak log entity on the ground, it will tag them with getting wood. So it would have tagged me with getting wood, but I won't um, complete it because I've already like completed the advancements and all. So yeah. And then after that, guys, you want to chain unconditional and always active. Make sure this one is unconditional, okay? That's the important thing about this command block. And you need to write execute as at a tag equals getting wood, which is gw, tilde tilde tilde. Execute as at s tag equals getting wood, tilde tilde tilde. Clear at s log minus one zero. So basically, this is just detecting if there is wood in their inventory. And if there is wood in their inventory, then you want to tag at a tag equals getting wood, add getting wood to. So if there is wood in, wood in that inventory, it's, it's basically telling these command blocks to give them the advancement because they completed it and they have wood in their inventory. So then you want to execute as at a tag equals getting wood to, tilde tilde tilde, to execute as at s tag equals exclamation mark getting wood three, exclamation marks means not getting wood three, so tag equals not getting with three, tilde tilde tilde, tell raw at a, the bracket raw text in between quotes, selector at s, comma, text has made advancement getting wood. So yeah, if I click this, you can see that we're also using the MCP color symbol. And this is pasted in the description below if you don't know how to get it or use it. I usually just copy and paste it into my commands when I need to use it. And yeah, you can use that if you want. So that basically just shows the message in the chat, uh, as we've got before. And then you want to tag at a, tag equals gw2, add gw3. So that basically makes it so they have the gw3 tag, which in this command block, tag equals not gw3. Um, in this command block it says tag equals not gw3. That means if the player has completed this advancement already, to not do it. So that's why we're adding the GW3 tag here as well. And then finally, to top things off, you just want to play sound random lot toast to all players. And it's chain conditional always active. All the ones after this chain unconditional always active one is is conditional, so make sure it's conditional for all of these command blocks. One, two, three, four. 
And then guys for the diamonds achievement, it's exactly the same as this one, except we're using except we're detecting the diamond entity and then we're using different tags. So yeah. I'll briefly go over it still. So it's repeat unconditional needs redstone, but you but as I said before, you can make it always active in your own worlds if you want to. And this time we're executing as at E name it this diamond to give any player within a range of two of the diamond the tag of D which stands for diamonds. And then the second command block is unconditional or is active chain. Unconditional, okay? And then we execute as tag equals diamonds to clear at S diamond negative one zero. So basically here we're just detecting if a diamond is in the player's inventory. So yeah. And then one, two, three, four left again, and these are all conditional. So the second one is, is unconditional, and these four are, are conditional. So you just want to tag at a tag equals diamond, add diamonds two, and then you want to execute as tag equals diamond two. Blah 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 blah. I already explained this all in the getting wood command block, so you can just copy this one out or look at it if you want to. And yeah, and then after that. You want to tag at A, tag equals D2, and add D3. And then finally, you want to play sound random.toast at A to at A. So, as you can see, guys, we did have three tags here. So, we had GW, then GW2, then GW3. So, getting wood one, getting wood, then getting wood two, then getting wood three. And we had D, D2, D3 for the tags here, which is diamonds two, diamonds three, and diamonds. So basically, as you can see, the reset tags is literally just all the tags. So I'll quickly show you all the tags. So it's tag at p remove gw, tag at p remove g2, tag at p remove g3, tag at p remove d, and this is unconditional always active chain room, by the way. Tag at p remove g2, tag at p remove g3, tag at p remove wh, which is withering heights, withering heights 2, 3, monster hunter, Monster Hunter 2, Monster Hunter 3, Terrible Fortress, Terrible Fortress 2, Terrible Fortress 3, um, S, Slimy, Slimy 2, Slimy 3. So as you can see, all of these advancements do require three tags to work and function each. So yeah, no matter if you're making this in your own world, always make sure to have three different tags. And yeah, if you do want to reset it, you need to put those three tags in a thing like this, and then you can always reset it if you want to get the achievements again. So yeah, and now guys, we're going to look at the Withering Heights advancement and how to do it. So, instead of executing as an item, instead we're executing as a wither. So, execute as at E type equals wither, tilde, 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 to execute as at A range equals 20, to tag at s add withering heights so basically this command is tagging any player within the range of 20 with the withering heights tag so yeah and then on conditional the second one is conditional this time chain and always active um wait so i'll just explain real quickly the rest of these advancements since we're not detecting items in a player's inventory we can have all the chain command blocks on conditional so you have no more on unconditional for the rest i'm about to showcase you Anyways, you're basically tagging as at A, tag equals withering heights to add withering heights to. So all players with the withering heights tag will get the second tag. And then you want to execute as withering heights 2, execute as at S, tag equals tag is not equal to withering heights 3, so they haven't completed the achievement yet. And if they haven't completed the achievement yet, tell raw at A, blah 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 blah. So yeah. And then after that, you want to tag at A, tag equals withering heights 2, add withering heights 3, and then place down random dot toast to all players. And then guys, we have the monster hunter command. So this one is similar to these first two ones, because you do need to execute as the item entity still, but you don't need to detect if the item entity is in their inventory, so we don't need this extra command block. So. For the first command, you want to execute as at E type equals item, name equals run flesh. As I explained before, you need to write run flesh in the language you're playing in. Tilde, tilde, tilde. Execute as at A range equals 2. So all plays within the range of 2 of the rotten flesh will get the tag of monster hunter. And then you want to, you want to tag at 
A tag equals monster hunter add monster hunter two, and then you want to execute as tag equals monster hunter two, and execute as tag as at S tag is not equal to monster hunter three to tell raw the monster hunter message the monster hunter advancement, and then you want to tag at A tag equals monster hunter two add monster hunter three so they can't complete the advancement again. And then you want to play sound random dot toast to all players. And then once again, guys, we're going to be detecting entities like in the Withering Heights one. And this time we're detecting the plays in the fortress to get the a terrible fortress achievement. So first of all, you need to execute as all at E type because plays to the tilde tilde. Execute as all players within the range of 15 to tag at S add terrible fortress. So basically all players within a range of 15 of a plays will get the tag terrible fortress and then tag at a tag equals terrible fortress add terrible fortress 2 and then execute as tag equals terrible fortress 2 tilde 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 execute as at s tag is not equal to terrible fortress 3 tell raw at a raw text select uh, text has made advancement a terrible fortress so yeah then after that you need tag at a tag equals terrible Tag equals terrible fortress two at terrible fortress three, and then you want to play sound random dot toast at a. Okay, and now for the last custom command, and it's actually custom this time. It's it's one that I came up with on the spot. So this one is called slimy, and it detects if player is standing on slime. So let's get straight into it. So this is the, this is different to all the other ones. We're detecting if someone is standing on a slime block. So yeah. So first of all, you want to execute as at a tilde tilde tilde, execute as at s tilde tilde tilde, to detect tilde tilde negative one tilde slime negative one tag at s at s. So negative one is the data value for slime. So so basically, I'm saying any type of slime block, and the negative one in the coordinates is the y coordinate, which means one block below the player's feet. So after the player is tagged with the s, which stands for slime. Then you want to tag at a tag equals slime add slime two, and then you want to execute as at a tag equals s two tilde 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 to execute as at s tag is not equal to s three to tell raw all of this. But as you can see, to make it like the secretive advancement or achievement kind of style, I put a five there to make it purpley. But you can change it to whatever color you want. So any of these colors is a thing and you can change it to that in the game so for example if I change it to 9 just for fun which is like a bluey sort of color and then we stand on the thing it's a blue text when we get the advancement so it's pretty cool you can customize the color of your advancements as well let's just change that back to normal there we go and then for this command block you want to tag at a tag equals s2 add s3 and then play sound random dot toast to all plays. So yeah guys, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out. See ya and have a good day. Bye.